In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to digitize this awesome mama design. Let's get started. Welcome back, Legacy Family, and if it's your first time here, hi, I'm Ken, and I'm here to teach you all about digitizing and embroidery. Today, we're gonna use the Design Doodler to digitize this beautiful font and give it as a gift for Mother's Day. Shout out to Angela Jasmina for popularizing this trend. It is the craze of embroidery. If you've never used the Design Doodler before, we have a free demo in the link in the description. Now, because the Design Doodler does have text integrated into it, we can simply click on this button right here to create a text. We're gonna go under the settings and we can select mama and we can click enter let me delete the other part and here we can change it to Rebecca which pretty much gives us a result that we are looking to get you can see right there it was super quick again I'm just gonna select it and we can change some different fonts so I don't really want the Rebecca font Avant to new we also have the block rounded so if you want that one instead and Rebecca is the most popular one. And if you wanna skip manually doodling, this is the way to go. Now you can resize it and create it to the size that you'd want for your sweater. But I'm gonna show you how you can create this manually with your own fonts. So I'm gonna get rid of this one now and I'm going to import the image by clicking this button right here. I'm gonna go under desktop where I have my image and I'm going to select this one. This is the mama image that I've created on Photoshop. Now I'm gonna click the three buttons at the bottom right and I'm going to select settings and I'm going to switch my units from metric to imperial. Next, I'm going to select my image by clicking this button down here and under the settings, I'm going to select my width, which I want it to be around 10 inches. It actually, it is 10 inches perfectly right there. So 10 by 10 because this image is a square, but for me, I just want the width to be 10 inches. Now the tool that we're gonna be using for this design is going to be the steel tool, which should be right here. For the density, we're gonna leave it at 0.04 millimeters and let's see how big we wanna make it. I'm just going to create this first solid right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now like always with digitizing, you want to avoid as many jump stitches as possible. So we're gonna try and connect everything at the end of the design. One of the things that you'll notice when you use the steel tool is that these ends will look a little too sharp, whereas the design is a little more rounded. That's okay because what we can do is select the shape itself. We can move it around a little bit and under the settings, what we'll do is go under the stop line cap or the start line cap and we're gonna switch that to rounded. You can see what that did. So again, standard. I'm gonna switch this to rounded and you can see how that line was now rounded off and it's gonna look a lot more similar to the end result as opposed to looking too sharp. So that's how we're gonna be creating all of these little endpoints that require us to have the roundness. Let's go again back to one over three and move over here. Now I can get started. So again, I'm just gonna go down this way and then I'm gonna go down this way like so. Finish that one right there. I'm gonna fix most of it later. Actually, that didn't allow me to go all the way, so let me move a little bit more this way. I'm gonna go down here, go like so. Let me make everything a different color so it's easier for you guys to see for now. We're just gonna make it red, and what I'll do is I'm going to select this button right here so I can edit the shapes. That's it can move it around just to fix them up just a tiny little bit so it's a little more accurate to the image itself. It doesn't have to be perfect. And remember that because you're using the satin steel, you wanna click on the middle. It's going to make it a lot easier to finish editing. We're just gonna overlap these shapes just a tiny bit so that there's no spaces and no gaps in between. That looks pretty good to me. I like it, even this one right here. I'm going to bring this down even further just so that it's overlapping a little bit. Looks great. And then let's fix this one up right here by moving this and just make it a little bit more accurate. Perfect. I like that a lot. Let's keep going to the other one. So again, here, I'm gonna go all the way to the end, wrap around the A, perfect. And we can keep going this way, wrap around like that. Perfect. Let's fix it up a little bit. Let's just edit a couple of these again, some minor touches, nothing too crazy. That looks great. And let's fix up a couple of these, bring it up a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Again, just trying to avoid as many gaps as possible. So let's bring this one down here. 
actually what we can even do for this one. I'm going to grab this one right here and we can bring it all the way up. You can see that's a straight line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this one a little bit like that, start adding more shape to it. Awesome, that's a lot better. Makes so much more sense, I like it like that. And let's keep going. Create the other part of the M, let's move to the next one. If you want it at this point, because it says mama, we could really just duplicate the whole thing but I wanna show you guys what it's like to do it all manually from beginning to end. So I'm going to move the shape just to fix it up. I think it looks a little more hand stitch too. And you can see here, there's a possibility of a bit of like a, uh, just like, I wouldn't see a gap. It's more that the stitch width by putting it underneath the other one is going to make it look a lot nicer. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Again, go to the end, let's go to the top and just create the shape and let's create the last shape like so. Oh, well, it's a little glitchy, so I'm just going to fix it up much better. And again, we'll go in afterwards and fix this up very nice and neat. Cool, I like it. Very nice, I'll make this a little wider so it doesn't create that crazy, crazy edge gap. Let's select this one over here and put it underneath that other shape. That one looks good. And this one, we're just gonna bring it in so that it stays around the 9.98 or 10 inches width. Now, when you switch to one to one, you can see that the design is now done, but unfortunately the edges are still sharp. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is select everything and I'm going to select branch everything so the design stitches out all together. It will trim once, so let's see what that looks like right now. I'm gonna open my view slow redraw and let's play it from the beginning. Let's see. Now that's pretty good. I do like that. That's interesting how we started from the end. So what we're gonna do though is select everything once again. We're gonna go under settings and we're gonna add some underlays. So again, some underlays, let's add some, we're gonna add a contour to add an edge run and we can add a pretty nice zigzag. That's done. Now again, start line cap. I want that to be rounded and I want the and cap to also be rounded, so it gives it more of that rounded shape to the whole mama design. Now, let's see the slow redraw once again. Awesome, that looks pretty good. Again, stitch with six millimeters. The density is four millimeters. The angle is pretty good. The corner type, what we can do is actually make it round just so that the design is a little bit more round and soft. The meter distance, we'll leave it at that. Again, start and end. And under, under the lace, under the zigzag, we'll probably just do probably 3.7 millimeters. Stitch length, that's pretty good at two and 0 0.3, awesome. And I think this design looks pretty good. So now let's select everything one more time. I wanted to stitch this out in black. So now we can take this onto the embroidery machine and see how it comes out. added some puff stuff to give the design more of a 3D look without having to use 3D foam. You can use puff stuff on any single design. It doesn't have to be just 3D puff designs and it'll give your designs a 3D look to it. When you're done, cut off the excess and rinse the rest out with water. I'll leave the link to puff stuff in the description.
that's how to digitize this awesome mama design. I'm pretty happy with this result and I'm ready to give this gift to my mama. Also, before I forget, I ended up embroidering something on the sleeve. So if you want to see how I did that, make sure to follow us on our social media at Embroidery Legacy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Remember, everything you need is in the description. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section and watch this video next. I'll see you on the next tutorial. Take care, Legacy family. Bye-bye.